Take your hands to your heart. In fact, take your hands like this. Let's take them over the head and then take them to your forehead and then to your heart. Now let's do that again. And this time, look up at your hands and then take them down to your forehead and then take them to your heart. And then cross your left arm, uh, left leg over your right leg and turn in this direction and just twist. Just easing in. Take your shoulder blades back and down the back. Then take that back hand around up over the sky. Cross your elbows on top of each other. Cross your arms. And then let's do another cross of our legs if we can. See what I'm spiraling the legs around, spiraling the arms around. Inhale, these straight up. Exhale, straight down. Inhale, straight up. And now back bend a little bit. I got a side camera here today, so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. And then come forward, release those hands, take your legs apart, and let's come down into our straddle forward fold. I love this one. I love this one. The knees are bent. The legs are far apart. We're coming down. You're either leaning on your desk like this, or you're taking your hands to the inside of your knees, pushing your knees apart. Kind of like have some, what's that called? Counter, counterbalance, counterplay or something. Your knees are pressing into your, are in your elbows. Your elbows are pressing into your knees. Not so that you feel it in your knees, but so that you feel it in your adductors. Releasing. Releasing the legs, releasing the adductors, releasing your shoulders, go back and forth like this. Releasing your lower back, releasing your middle back, releasing your neck. Let your head come down to wherever it is. Maybe it's on the desk. Maybe it's hanging like this. Good, inhale your arms up. And let's go this way, just lean. Nothing complicated, we're just leaning, feeling the opening here. Inhale up, and then lean the other way. Uh, maybe your spine just went crackety, crackety, crack, like mine. Come on out. Uh, put your legs parallel to each other. And let's take our left ear to our left shoulder. Exhale your head forward, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale forward, back and forth. Just go back and forth with your own breath. Mm. Exhale forward. Next time your head comes to center, pick it up gently. And let's cross the right foot over the left knee, twisting your whole body until your legs brush up against the side of the chair, and then twist using your arms to pull yourself. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Don't go too far, but go far enough. Roll your shoulder blades back and down the back. Good, turn back forward and let's take that back hand and cross it across the sky until it comes, your elbows are stacked like this. So your left elbow is on top of your right elbow in other words. Wrap your arms around each other, and then wrap your feet around each other one more time, too. And let's inhale straight up. Exhale straight down. Inhale straight up, and back bend. Exhale, release. Take your hands to your knees. Your feet are hip distance apart. 
planted into the ground. Let's find our feet. So we're going to press the ball mounds of the big toes and the ball mounds of the pinky toes evenly into the ground. If the ground is cold and wet and squishy like it is right here for, for me, then you're extra lucky. And then feel your weight evenly distributed. Even though we're in a chair, obviously most of our weight is in our hips. But let's try and feel the weight that's going into the feet and distribute it evenly between the front part of the, part of the feet and the back part of the feet. Moving, moving the feet around, finding evenness. And then let's put our weight all into our feet. Take our arms forward and sit up like this, chair pose. Working the legs. If you want to make your chair harder, you can try and bring your your body closer to perpendicular to the ground. Or you can let your hips come down lower. If you want to make your chair easier, you can come up a little bit. This is a little easier. Find just gaze it. Find where you want it and take it there. Feeling our chair and feeling our breath. Good, and then come back down to seated. And take your right foot and brush gross stuff off the bottom of it and put it on your left knee. Establish your hips, find evenness here. And then come forward. If you've got a desk, maybe you want to lay down on your desk. Or maybe you want to lay down over this leg. And what we're trying to feel is this right hip, opening the right hip. Good, come up and take your foot in your hands or take a strap around your foot, whatever, straighten your leg. Not so much that you are um, forcing it, but so much that you're feeling the hamstring and the calf opening. It's a good leg stretch. Definitely use a strap or whatever whatever helps you. It can be a tie or a belt or not a microphone cord. Something. Keep your shoulders rolling back and down the back. Just feel that leg opening up. That's all we're looking for. In fact, you know what? If you have a desk, which I don't, you could just prop that leg up on a desk. Maybe soon I'll do this class actually at a desk and we'll see what we can do with it. But you could prop your leg up on your desk or... I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just find a place where you really are feeling these muscles open. That's what we're looking for, here and here. Good, and then let's, hip, we're gonna open the hip again, a little deeper this time. So take this, uh, that would be your right foot, and put it on your left thigh. And in fact, let's scoot the left thigh over. Let's take that leg to about 10.30, if this were a clock. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms up. Exhale them to your heart. Inhale them up. Exhale them to your heart. One more time. This time inhale them up. And then take them to your forehead again. Remember we did this before. And then to your heart. And then take the left elbow to the left knee and the right arm goes up. Tuck in this shoulder blade back and down the back, finding your side bend. Opening here.
can look up at your hand and if that doesn't feel good, look down. Good, release out of that. And then take your feet, which if you're standing in mud, are maybe a little gross. Ooh, and stretch them out like that. Here's what we're doing, okay? The couple of versions of this. Maybe try lifting, just lifting your feet off the ground, like that. See how that feels? Maybe straighten your legs. We're doing Navasana, this is boat pose. And I mean, even though it doesn't really look like it because we're in a chair, that is what we are doing. And if you're in a chair, if you're lucky enough to be like me in a chair that doesn't have arms, you can turn to the side, and do a real Navasana, make sure you're pretty well balanced in your chair. That's Navasana, remember that. Boat pose. And you could even come down and hover in hollow body and then come back up if you want. One way or another, we're just finding a boat. Either you're sitting with your feet coming up off the ground or you're maybe turn to the side or maybe your legs are up straight we're working our core all we're trying to feel is this good all right before i forget where we're going put your feet back on the ground they're square remember we found our feet before four points on each foot feel the energy of your feet on the ground your spine coming up long head floats like a balloon shoulders roll back and down the back take your arms out in front of you put your weight in your feet and let's come up again chair pose utkatasana chair Okay, and then sit back down. And then take whatever mud off your feet. And put your left ankle on your right knee this time. We're coming into our seated pigeon. I love this one, it's so good. Come forward and find the inside of this hip, left hip. Maybe you're leaning on a desk. Maybe you're leaning on your leg. Wherever you're leaning, don't feel it in either knee. That's not what we want, we want it in that hip. Find that. I'd totally go here. Good. And then come up and grab that foot or put a strap around that foot. Remember, anything will work as a strap, anything. I think in one of these classes I used my skirt or sweater or something. It, it doesn't matter. A strap is... In this case you want a flexible piece of fabric or something that'll bend. We might do a uh, cow face in a second and I'm just going to use a stick or something. Obviously you couldn't use a stick as a strap right here, but you could use any kind of fabric. And you're just grabbing it like this. It's all it's doing is providing an extension for your hands in case you can't reach that foot by yourself. I mean, in case you can't reach that foot yet which would just mean that you have tight hamstrings probably an athlete it's fine rolling your shoulder blades back and down the back finding the place of release inside your hamstring and your calf muscle and keep in your mind wherever you're feeling it
good and now take your right foot uh, sorry that would be your left foot your left foot and put it on your right thigh and let's take this right leg and make it go further out a little bit to about like 1 30 or 2 o'clock that way take your hands to your heart inhale them up exhale into your heart inhale them up exhale to your heart let's inhale them up and then this time take them to your forehead and then to your heart and let's take this right elbow onto your right knee turning your body the left elbow comes up you're almost like kind of cranking your rib cage cranking would be the wrong word turning your rib cage up towards the sky feeling a nice twist feeling a hip opener in your left hip feeling a side body opener in your left side body right up into your left ribs and left armpit rolling this left shoulder back and down the back on up out of that take your legs to the sides again so we did this one already oops we did this one already and this time I want to try it a little differently my pants. so we did it like this with our knees bent this time let's try it with our legs out as far as they'll go to the sides come to the up uh, upper edge of your chair and um, don't fall off your chair I kind of feel like I might here coming forward Maybe, maybe see if you can come to a flat back kind of uh, situation here where your, flat, uh, your back is parallel to the ground. And then maybe gently move forward to the ground. Now, remember, I don't have a desk. If I had a desk, I would maybe be leaning on the desk here. The difference between this one and the one that we did earlier when our knees were bent is that we're getting a little deeper and possibly moving from feeling it entirely in the legs to feeling it a little bit in the lower back. But anything, any kind of yoga that you feel in your lower back, be gentle, be careful. There's a couple areas that are just really easy to hurt. The lower back is one, the neck is another. Be careful. First rule of yoga is don't get hurt. Good. All right. Put weight in your hands and take your legs together and put your hands under your hips like that. Make your make your shoulders and your elbows even down to your wrists. I know, like depending on what kind of chair you have, that might be easier said than done. And then we're gonna come up. Let's come up first to our tabletop on top of a chair upward table on top of a chair feel the stretching across your uh, what would that be your pecs side ribs shoulders of course and then if you're able walk your feet forward into a giant puddle drop your head back upward plank on a chair it's nice I like it I decided I like it and then sit back 
and stretch your legs out long in front of you both together let's try it hmm hmm plant your heels and come up with your grabbing your feet like that remember our strap you can use the strap again here if you want put it around your feet like that nice or if you reach your feet easily then just grab your feet and remember in this forward bend and I think in all forward bends what we're looking for first is a release in the legs so I know I got you in a weird position and if you feel like you're gonna fall off your chair um don't I don't know I can't see your chair so I don't know your situation but don't fall off your chair make sure you're stable that's number one and then number two is feel the backs of your legs opening your hamstrings and your calves once your body has dealt with those areas then you can start to feel it in your low back but really our low back is our second priority first we want that leg release a lot of times people will come into forward bends and they'll think it's all about touching your toes and they'll like crank their lower back forward and that's not really what we're trying to do what we're trying to do is actually open the legs so do that first without caring too much if you're touching your toes or not just try to feel feel the hamstrings feel the calves We're out of time. I had tons more stuff I wanted to do. Oh well. Sit up like this. Put your feet on the floor. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms over your head. Keep them up this time. Yoga rebalances you. It just resets you. It makes things better. I promise. Take your hands to your forehead. Take your hands to your heart. Thanks for practicing, it's good work. Namaste.